What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your new AMD drivers. But first we have to actually, well, install my old AMD card because I recently switched to NVIDIA. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then we'll uh, show you the actual process itself. Oh, I need to clean that up. And now we're ready to go. All right, so that's installed. Uh, now it's time to install the driver. But before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of things, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you want to support the channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the video itself. We're going to go ahead and open up... Uh, our browser. We're going to go to the amd.com website and uh, go to the drivers page. I'll add a link to this in the description and you're just going to find your graphics card. So this is an AMD Radeon. So I'll choose graphics. If you have an AMD Radeon TM um, processor, you may have embedded graphics or processor graphics. So you may want to choose Ryzen processors and then choose which Ryzen processor you happen to have um, or specifically which uh, series of processor you have. Otherwise, you're going to go into graphics and choose the graphics card. I have an AMD Radeon 5700 series, so I'm going to choose that. And it is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. So we'll hit submit. I have Windows 11, so I'm going to download the Windows 11 64-bit version. And I'll choose download on the newest version. Now, once your download is complete, you can go ahead and run the installer. If a user access control pop-up comes up, just hit yes. The driver will check your system for compatible software. So if you chose the wrong one, don't worry here, because it should still be able to detect which card you're running. And yep, it detected that I have uh, the 5700 XT. We can go into additional options and choose if we want to do a full install or a minimal install or the driver only. I recommend doing the full install. I also recommend setting a new install location each time you install. For example, I already have drivers here and that can sometimes cause issues. So if I go up one, create a new folder and type AMD2, I can choose that and select. And that will ensure we won't have any issues. And then you can choose to factory reset. Uh, if this is not enabled, it means that you don't have a current driver installed, so it doesn't actually have to remove it. So let's go ahead and click on install. The screen will flash a few times. That's totally okay. And we'll hit finish. Let's make sure our driver was installed. So we go into the AMD Adrenaline software. We can skip the setup and we can see that we are up to date. Great. That's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. about a new device. Unbox and kudos. We rock that pseudo. Administrative elevator command. We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.